Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about cloud security interview questions. What is a cloud service? A cloud service can dynamically scale to meet the needs of its users, and because the service provider supplies the hardware and software necessary for the service, there's no need for a company to provision or deploy its own resources or allocate IT staff to manage the service. What is CAP Theorem? This states that it is not possible for a distributed computer system to simultaneously provide all three of the following guarantees. Consistency, all nodes see the same data even at the same time with concurrent updates. Availability, a guarantee that every request receives a response about whether it was successful or failed. Partition tolerance, the system continues to operate despite arbitrary message loss or failure of part of the system. This theorem has created the base for modern distributed computing approaches. World's most high-volume traffic companies like Amazon and Google which use this as basis for deciding their application architecture. It's important to understand that only two of these three conditions can be guaranteed to be met by a system. What is scalability? Scalability is the ability of a system, network, or process to handle a growing amount of load by adding more resources. Scaling up. This involves adding more resources to the existing nodes. For example, adding more RAM, storage, or processing power. Scaling out. This involves adding more nodes to support more users. Any of the approaches can be used for scaling up slash out application. However, the cost of adding resources per user may change as the volume increases. If we add resources to the system, it should increase the ability of application to take more load in a proportional manner of added resources. What is elasticity, in contrast to scalability? Cloud elasticity is a system's ability to increase, or decrease, its varying capacity-related needs such as storage, networking, and computing based on specific criteria. Widely used in e-commerce and retail, software as a service, SaaS, DevOps, mobile, and other cloud environments with ever-changing infrastructure demands. Scalability is required for elasticity. For example, if 100 users log into your website every hour. A single server can easily handle this volume of traffic. However, what happens if 5,000 users log in at the same time? If your existing architecture can quickly and automatically provision new web servers to handle this load, your design is elastic. What is sticky session load balancing? Is a process in which a load balancer creates an affinity between a client and a specific network server for the duration of a session. With sticky sessions, a load balancer assigns an identifying attribute to a user, typically by issuing a cookie or by tracking their IP details. Session stickiness offers a few benefits that can improve your web application's performance, including Minimize data exchange When using sticky sessions, servers within your network don't need to exchange session data, a costly process when done on scale. RAM cache utilization Sticky sessions allow for more effective utilization of your application's RAM cache, resulting in better responsiveness. However, sticky sessions also make it more difficult to keep servers in balance. A server can become overloaded if it accumulates too many sessions, or if specific sticky sessions require a high number of resources. This could result in your load balancer having to shift a client to a different server mid-session, resulting in data loss. What do you mean by lower latency interaction? Latency is the time that elapses between a user request and the completion of that request. Even processes that seem instantaneous have some measurable delay. Reducing such delays has become an important business goal. Low latency is the ability of a computing system or network to provide responses with minimal delay. Actual low latency metrics vary according to the use case. Use cases for low latency. Low latency is critical for any use case that involves high volumes of traffic over the network. This includes applications and data that reside in the data center, cloud, or edge where the networking path has become more complex, with more potential sources of latency. For example in online meetings, online gaming, and low latency trading. What are the core components of AWS? Route 53, a DNS web assistance. Simple email service, it provides posting email utilizing RESTful API calls or through regular SMTP. Simple storage device or S3, it is a storage medium and the most extensively applied AWS service. Elastic Compute Cloud, it gives on-demand computing support for hosting applications. Also, it is convenient in case of random workload. CloudWatch, to observe AWS resources, 
It empowers administrators to inspect and accumulate keys. Also, one can set an intelligence alarm in case of crisis. What is system shall be resilient? System is resilient if it stays responsive in the face of failure. Resilience is achieved by replication, containment, isolation, delegation. Differences between monolithic, SOA, and microservices architecture? Monolithic architecture refers to a single indivisible unit. The concept lies in different components of an application being combined into a single program on a single platform. Pros of monolithic architecture. Simpler development and deployment. There are lots of tools you can integrate to facilitate development. In addition, all actions are performed with one directory, which provides for easier deployment. With a monolithic core, developers don't need to deploy changes or updates separately, as they can do it at once and save lots of time. Fewer cross-cutting concerns. Most applications are reliant on a great deal of cross-cutting concerns, such as audit trails, logging, and rate limiting. Monolithic apps incorporate these concerns much easier due to their single code base. It's easier to hook up components to these concerns when everything runs in the same app. Better performance. If built properly, monolithic apps are usually more performant than microservice-based apps. An app with a microservices architecture might need to make 40 API calls to 40 different microservices to load each screen, which obviously results in slower performance. Monolithic apps, in turn, allow faster communication between software components due to shared code and memory. Cons of a monolithic architecture. Code base gets cumbersome over time. In the course of time, most products develop an increase in scope, and their structure becomes blurred. The code base starts to look really massive and becomes difficult to understand and modify, especially for new developers. Difficult to adopt new technologies. If there's a need to add some new technology to your app, developers may face barriers to adoption. Adding new technology means rewriting the whole application, which is costly and time-consuming. Limited agility. In monolithic apps, every small update requires a full redeployment. Thus, all developers have to wait until it's done. When several teams are working on the same project, agility can be reduced greatly. Differences between monolithic, SOA, and microservices architecture? Service-oriented architecture, SOA, is a software architecture style that refers to an application composed of discrete and loosely coupled software agents that perform a required function. Pros of SOA. Reusability of services. Due to the self-contained and loosely coupled nature of functional components in service-oriented applications, these components can be reused in multiple applications without influencing other services. Better maintainability. Since each software service is an independent unit, it's easy to update and maintain it without hurting other services. For example, large enterprise apps can be managed easier when broken into services. Higher reliability. Services are easier to debug and test than are huge chunks of code like in the monolithic approach. This, in turn, makes SOA-based products more reliable. Parallel development. As a service-oriented architecture consists of layers, it advocates parallelism in the development process. Independent services can be developed in parallel and completed at the same time. Cons of SOA. Complex management. The main drawback of a service-oriented architecture is its complexity. Each service has to ensure that messages are delivered in time. The number of these messages can be over a million at a time, making it a big challenge to manage all services. High investment costs. So a development requires a great upfront investment of human resources, technology, and development. Extra overload. In SOA, all inputs are validated before one service interacts with another service. When using multiple services, this increases response time and decreases overall performance. Differences between monolithic, SOA, and microservices architecture? Microservice architecture is a type of service-oriented software architecture that focuses on building a series of autonomous components that make up an app. Pros of microservices. Easy to develop, test, and deploy. The biggest advantage of microservices over other architectures is that small single services can be built, tested, and deployed independently. Since a deployment unit is small, it facilitates and speeds up development and release. Increased agility. With microservices, several teams can work on their services independently and quickly. Each individual part of an application can be built independently due to the decoupling of microservice components. For example, you may have a team of 100 people working on the whole app like in the monolithic approach, or you can have 10 teams of 10 people developing different services for the app. Let's imagine this visually. 
Ability to scale horizontally. Vertical scaling can be limited by the capacity of each service. But horizontal scaling isn't limited and can run dynamically with microservices. Furthermore, horizontal scaling can be completely automated. Cons of microservices. Complexity. The biggest disadvantage of microservices lies in their complexity. Splitting an application into independent microservices entails more artifacts to manage. This type of architecture requires careful planning, enormous effort, team resources, and skills. The reasons for high complexity are the following. Increased demand for automation, as every service should be tested and monitored. Available tools don't work with service dependencies. Data consistency and transaction management becomes harder as each service has a database. Security concerns. In a microservices application, each functionality that communicates externally via an API increases the chance of attacks. These attacks can happen only if proper security measurements aren't implemented when building an app. Different programming languages. The ability to choose different programming languages is two sides of the same coin. Using different languages make deployment more difficult. In addition, it's harder to switch programmers between development phases when each service is written in a different language. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands-on training with labs, homework, group projects. Prepare you for the certification. Provide real projects. Internship opportunities. Support you in Resume, LinkedIn. Staffing support. Provide tech references. In-person, online class. Class retake options and more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos. Hello welcome to IT Expert.